Hi kindergartners, it's Thursday, which means we have today and tomorrow left of our kindergarten lessons. And then next week on Monday and Tuesday, we'll be doing some fun things. So today, I thought since it's the second to last day of our lessons, I would read a book to you called The Night Before Summer Vacation, because summer vacation is starting soon. And it's by Natasha Wing and illustrated by Julie Durrell. <clears throat> Twas the night before leaving on summer vacation. My family was bursting with anticipation. Dad made a checklist, which he checked as he went. The bug spray, the backpacks, the umbrella, and tent. Ooh, I wonder what they're going to be doing on their vacation if they're bringing a tent. Maybe they're going camping, kind of like our story from the other day with Froggy. Mom grabbed the graham crackers and stuff for the s'mores. Do you like s'mores? I love having s'mores in the summertime. We carried out helmets, the canoe, and the oars. Remember my raft, my snorkel and bike, plus Pete's doggy bowls and Jimmy's new trike. Down from the attic, our suitcases came. Mom whistled and shouted as if roughing a game. In bathing suits, in flip-flops, in sunblock and hats, in flashlight, in lounge chairs, and wiffle ball bats. To the top of the pile, to the top of the heap. Now pack away, pack away, five layers deep. We stuffed and we filled every inch of the shell. Like a water balloon, it started to swell. Look how much they packed. Done with our packing, we ate dinner at last. Then we got out the scrapbooks of vacations past. There were photos of us at the Museum of Toasters and my father and I riding fast roller coasters. Here's Jimmy on Babe and me with Paul Bunyan. And there's mommy beside the world's largest onion. So that's pictures of all the vacations they've taken. We laughed about trips we'd taken before. Our week at the beach did nothing but pour. It was so cold that we all wore our fleeces, but we finished a puzzle with 2,000 pieces. At last it was time to climb into our beds where visions of marshmallows danced in our heads. In the morning, dad shouted, get up, rise and shine. It's quarter to four, let's leave here on time. So they left so early it was still dark outside. Then a few moments later, there arose such a clatter. We ran to the window to see what was the matter when what to our wandering eyes should appear but dad the camper and a long trail of gear. He chuckled and said, let's hit the road before our camper decides to explode. We all squeezed in, then drove down our street. I suddenly cried out, yikes, we forgot Pete. Dad made a U-turn and Pete jumped inside. Pete's their dog right there. Now we were ready for the 10 hour ride. I heard Jimmy ask as we drove out of sight, mommy, are we there yet? She said with luck, bye tonight. All right, friends, don't forget that your last read, your last Raz Kids assignment is due tomorrow and I will see you tomorrow for our last read aloud of the school year. I'm super excited for it. For it. See you then.